What's going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at you guys with some more technical heat. And in this one specifically, I'm just going to show you guys how to basically adjust or control how much power goes into an electrical component. Basically, like for example, I'm going to show you guys a light. I'm going to show you how to basically customize how much brightness or how dim or maybe no light at all. I'm pretty much show you guys how to code that and how to control that with this thing called a potentiometer. Just look at it as if it's a knob, like a knob, how you turn the volume all the way up or turn the volume all the way down. I'm pretty much construct that into a circuit, show you guys the code and basically break down exactly how to go about using it so you guys can understand how to control the electricity that flow through your project. So you can actually control how much power goes through, how much you will want, how much you won't want, or if you want to make something to the point that you can control how much go through it. I'm about to just go ahead and just break down the whole thing. Let's get into it. It's Dre the Plug. Let's go. Okay, so jumping into this code, as you guys can see, similar to the other code that I mentioned before, you see it has const, int, and then it just have your actual words or letters which you want to spell it out. Like I said before, you can put whatever you want here. And we have analog pin and we set that equal to A0. So the pin is gonna go into A0. This is always where the pin will go into. And we want a signal for our potentiometer. So we will want it to go right here. The next one will actually have LED pin. So with the LED pin, we'll know exactly where we want to place it. Like I said before, this could be named whatever you want as long as you're consistent with it throughout your code. And so it'll go into the nine pin. Like you can literally change this to whatever number you want. Zero all the way up to however high you want to or however low you want to. You can pick whatever number you want. In the code right now, I just so happen to have it to be nine. So then after that, I have the input value zero, output value zero. Um, void setup is nothing that I need to set up just to have my potentiometer work. So there's no point of putting anything here. And then inside of my void loop, you guys can see the input value. This is specifically just if I want to read it through this actual monitor. It's a way that you can read it, but it's not necessary. And then I have my output value. I'm actually converting it to between zero and 255, which is also not necessary. It's just for myself if I wanted to actually go in and see the number differences. But literally, if I wanted to, I could just erase it. And the main one that matters is just this one literally verify it and as you can see at the bottom here it's still in black and white so everything is gucci everything is good i'm gonna just undo it and then going into analog right which is actually gonna make that pin run and make it work and you see how you have led pin again right it's still consistent with the non pin so it correlates and then from there that's basically gonna turn on this actual pin to actually do what i wanted to do then verify again and that will be your whole entire code for your potentiometer to work or to actually control or adjust how much flow of electricity you want through this electrical component so finally uploading the code for the potentiometer boom uploading it see it's loading and there you go you have it right there it is now on and as you can see the led is bright let me show you guys if I want to just turn it down with my potentiometer real quick. See how it's slowly losing power. Now it's turned off. Turn it right back on. And if I want to, between the power and the ground right over here, I could pretty much decide what I want over here. If I want to add another light, for example, another LED, I could do that. Or if I want to add like a speaker, I could do that. Simply show you guys real quick. Boom, now I got two. If I want to turn it down a notch, it says two. Let's say it's too bright. There you go. Turn it right back up. And it's that simple. So now let me show you guys how it's constructed.
And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help the channel. Definitely go check out my Instagram, DreDaPlug123. And then go also check out my other YouTube channel. I'll have a link down below. This was the channel I started a little while ago. Oh, it's basically about barbering and basically giving your own self a fresh cut and looking nice when you step out the house. So definitely check out that channel. I do all types of different haircuts and be looking forward for the next video that drop. And I'm out.